Hey everybody, it's Evan from VR.org. Welcome to my first impressions of the Oculus Rift. So hardware-wise, I have the Oculus headset plugged into the back of my computer. Also, the Oculus Touch controllers are ready to go. So the first thing we do is download the Oculus Setup, which is at oculus.com front slash setup. From there, we will download the setup file and get things started. Once the setup has started, it will take you through your hardware, checking to make sure everything is connected. Connecting the Rift headset and Oculus sensors is pretty straightforward for the most part. Also, the sensor communication test will follow. Now for me, I didn't have enough USB 3.0 ports, and I was worried that the second sensor wouldn't connect properly or wouldn't work. But it did read the USB 2.0 port just fine, as you can see under the sensor communication test, which was a relief. And when you're setting up the Oculus, if you don't have the Oculus Touch controllers, you only need one sensor. But if you do have the controllers, you're going to have to use that second sensor. So next up is setting up your Oculus sensors. You want to place them next to your monitor three to six feet apart. Also make sure you have clear space in your room to freely move around without hitting anything. Next up is the sensor tracking. This is done by using one of the touch controllers which should be visible to both sensors. You're going to hold the trigger on that and let it do its thing. Room orientation is next which just confirms that your controller can read both sensors and is tracking correctly. Next is setting up the Guardian system, aka the play area. Now this is super important. You want to make sure you have a safe distance around your room to have a decent sized play area. Now once your play area is set up, it's time to put on your Oculus headset and officially go down the rabbit hole. So once you have the headset on and it's a good fit, move around a bit. Move your arms, even turn around, but also note that you do have a cable connected on your Oculus headset. So just be aware that there will be a cable by your feet. Yeah, it took me a few minutes to kind of get used to it, but once you get used to it, you're definitely more aware that it's there. Uh, definitely don't want to trip over it, so just be careful. It's time to learn about your Oculus Touch controllers. Get started by moving your hands around and familiarizing yourself with the buttons. Locate the grip buttons and squeeze them with your middle fingers. Next, use your index fingers to squeeze the triggers on your controllers. Now, try pressing all of the glowing buttons with your thumbs. Try moving around the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks can also be pressed in, like buttons. Press in on the thumbsticks until you feel them click. Now let's see what your virtual hands can do. See what happens when you move your fingers and press the different buttons. To make a fist, squeeze the grip with your middle finger and hold it down. To point, keep squeezing the grip and lift just your index finger. Now, look at the three spheres. Point at each sphere. Again, squeeze the grip button and lift your index finger. Great job! That covers the basics of your touch controllers. The opening in front of you will transport you to an entirely new virtual space. Reach out with your hands to enter Rift.
got to say, this is where the Oculus thrives, especially as a first-time user. Going into this new virtual world and interacting with the objects already shows the amazing potential of the Oculus. After waving to the robot, a friendship emerges, and it looks like he's starting to give me discs. We're going to slide these into the 3D printer-esque type of machine here. And from there, we uh, get to interact with these objects. Uh, hands down, one of the nicest butterflies on the block. Thanks for landing on my finger. Pretty sweet. So each disc contains some sort of object. So from virtual butterflies to mini rockets, laser pistols, zero gravity and more, it's a heck of a good start. Not to mention a golden cartridge, reminds me of Zelda for Nintendo. Just blow on the cartridge really quick, make sure it's clean. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Obviously this is going to take us to the official Oculus main menu. Unfortunately when that happens, we do lose visuals, but it was a heck of a first start. Anyone that's putting on the Oculus Rift for the first time and encounters this is just going to be blown away. This is really fun. Whew. Well, that was fun. My goodness. Unbelievable. To get the Oculus hardware set up with the computer and the PC it took me about 30 to 35 minutes. Plugging in the USB and the HDMI, making sure it's connected, uh, getting the sensors set up, and then obviously the controllers. And then from there, downloading the software, installing that software, and going through the step-by-step -step process, making sure that obviously the hardware is connected. And once we had that going, once we had our play area set up, and we put this bad boy on, we were transported to another dimension and that was just awesome. For any first time Oculus user, that was huge. Seeing that robot, being able to take those discs, just interactively moving around for the first time. And that was just a tutorial. So there's a lot more stuff that's gonna be on the list here. Obviously the Oculus has their own store, but Oculus is also compatible with Steam. And there's a lot of other titles on Steam. So we have a lot of content to check out from entertainment, interactive VR movies to uh, obviously VR games. And there's apps as well to check out. So a lot of stuff to check out, but all in all, Oculus has been a great experience so far really enjoying myself. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Really appreciate it. We have more information here at vr.org if you're interested in anything and everything related to VR. My name is Evan. See you on the flip side.